Welcome to Garden Bound. Spring is here and it's the perfect time to plan for a beautiful summer garden. Planting the right things now will set you up for a season of vibrant blooms and lush growth. In today's video, we'll share the secrets to a successful spring planting season so you can enjoy a stunning garden all summer long. We've got plenty of data and research to back up our recommendations, helping you make the best choices for your garden. So grab your gardening gloves and let's explore the best plants to get started with this spring. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's get started. Understanding your local climate and frost dates is essential for successful spring planting. Knowing your USDA hardiness zone helps you choose plants that will thrive in your region. For example, if you live in zone 6, your average last frost date is around mid-May, giving you a good indication of when it's safe to start planting most warm season vegetables and flowers. Research by the National Gardening Association shows that timing your planting according to your specific frost dates can increase your chances of a successful harvest by 30%. Additionally, understanding microclimates within your garden can be beneficial. For instance, areas near buildings or walls may have slightly higher temperatures due to heat retention, allowing for earlier planting in those spots. According to a study published in the Journal of Environmental Horticulture, microclimates can extend the growing season by up to two weeks. By taking these factors into account, you can optimize your planting schedule and select the most suitable plants for a thriving summer garden. Selecting the right flowers to plant in spring is crucial for achieving a vibrant, blooming summer garden. One of the most reliable choices is marigolds, Tagetes spp, known for their bright sunny hues and ability to repel pests such as nematodes and aphids. Marigolds thrive in USDA hardiness zones 2, 11, and prefer full sun making them a versatile option for many gardens. A study by the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources found that marigolds can reduce nematode populations in the soil by up to 90%, promoting healthier plant growth around them. Another excellent option is zinnias, zinnia spp dove, which are celebrated for their long-lasting blooms and wide range of colors. Zinnias perform best in zones 3, 10, and need at least 6 hours of sunlight daily. They are also highly attractive to pollinators like butterflies and bees. Research from the Pollinator Partnership highlights that zinnias can significantly boost pollinator activity, with some varieties attracting up to 50% more pollinators than other common garden flowers. For those looking to add height and drama to their garden, sunflowers, Helianthus annuus, are an excellent choice. Sunflowers grow well in zones 4, 9, and can reach heights of up to 10 feet, providing a stunning backdrop for shorter plants. According to the National Sunflower Association, sunflowers can thrive in a variety of soil conditions, making them highly adaptable and easy to grow. Additionally, their seeds offer a valuable food source for birds, adding another layer of ecological benefit to your garden. Lastly, consider planting perennial favorites such as daylilies, Himericalis spp, and coneflowers, Echinacea spp. Daylilies are hardy in zones 3, nine and are known for their resilience and low maintenance, often blooming from early summer until fall. Coneflowers, suitable for zones 3, 8, are not only beautiful but also drought tolerant once established. Research from the University of Wisconsin-Madison indicates that coneflowers can enhance soil health by improving its structure and increasing organic matter content. By carefully selecting a mix of these flowers, you can create a diverse and resilient garden that will provide continuous color and support local wildlife throughout the summer months. Choosing the right vegetables to plant in spring is essential for a bountiful summer harvest. Tomatoes, Solanum lycopersicum, are a staple in many gardens and for good reason. They thrive in USDA hardiness zones too, 10, and require full sun and well-drained soil. Research from the University of Florida indicates that tomatoes grown in optimal conditions can produce up to 30 pounds of fruit per plant in a single season. Popular varieties like Roma, beefsteak, and cherry cater to different culinary needs, from sauces to fresh salads. Peppers, capsicum spp sog, both sweet and hot varieties are another excellent choice for summer gardens. They perform best in zones 4, 11, and need a sunny spot with at least 6, 8 hours of direct sunlight daily. According to the National Gardening Association, bell peppers can yield up to 10, 15 fruits per plant, while hot peppers such as jalapenos and habaneros can produce even more. 
Peppers are also rich in vitamins A and C, making them a nutritious addition to your diet. Cucumbers, Cucumi sativus, are a fast-growing vegetable that can be planted in spring for a summer harvest. They flourish in zones 4, 12, and prefer full sun and consistently moist soil. The University of Illinois Extension notes that cucumber plants can produce around 10, 20 cucumbers per vine, depending on the variety. For example, Marketmore is a reliable slicing cucumber, while National Pickling is perfect for preserving. Green beans, Phaseolus vulgaris, are another productive crop for summer gardens. Suitable for Zones 3. 10. Green beans thrive in well-drained soil with plenty of sunlight. Research from Cornell University shows that a single green bean plant can yield up to one, two pounds of beans over the growing season. Varieties like Bush Blue Lake and Kentucky Wonder are popular choices for their high yields and disease resistance. Finally, consider planting summer squash, Cucurbita pipo, which grows well in zones 3 in lights D10. Summer squash varieties, including zucchini and yellow squash, are known for their prolific production. According to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, a single zucchini plant can produce between 3, 9 pounds of fruit during the growing season. Squash plants also have large leaves that help suppress weeds and retain soil moisture, contributing to overall garden health. Incorporating perennials into your garden is an excellent strategy for ensuring long-lasting beauty and reducing maintenance efforts over the years. Unlike annuals, which complete their life cycle in a single growing season, perennials return year after year, offering continuous structure and color to your garden. Research from Penn State Extension highlights that well-chosen perennials can provide up to a decade of low-maintenance beauty with minimal care. One standout perennial is the coneflower, Echinacea spp, hardy in USDA Zones 3, 9. Coneflowers are known for their drought tolerance and ability to thrive in poor soil conditions, making them an ideal choice for low-maintenance gardens. Their vibrant blooms attract pollinators such as bees and butterflies, contributing to a healthy garden ecosystem. Studies indicate that coneflowers can bloom from late spring to early fall, providing months of continuous color. Hostas, Hosta spp are another excellent perennial option, especially for shaded areas. Thriving in Zones 3, 9. Hostas are renowned for their lush foliage and come in various shades of green, blue, and gold. They are particularly valued for their ability to thrive in low light conditions and their resilience to pests like slugs and deer. According to research from the University of Minnesota, hostas can live for up to 20 years or more with proper care, making them a long-term investment in garden aesthetics. Lavender, Lavangela spp, is a perennial herb that combines beauty with practicality. Suitable for zones five, nine, Lavender is drought tolerant and thrives in full sun and well-drained soil. This aromatic plant is not only a favorite for its fragrant flowers, but also for its use in culinary and medicinal applications. Research from Washington State University indicates that lavender can live for up to 15 years, and its essential oils have been shown to repel pests such as mosquitoes and flies, further enhancing garden health. Daylilies, Hemerocallis spp, are another robust perennial that performs well in zones 3, 10. Known for their bright, trumpet-shaped flowers, daylilies are incredibly versatile and can tolerate a wide range of soil conditions and light levels. The American Hemerocallis Society reports that a single daylily plant can produce over 200 blooms during its peak season, making it a prolific and vibrant addition to any garden. Daylilies are also low maintenance, requiring little more than occasional watering and deadheading to promote continuous blooming. For ground cover, consider incorporating creeping thyme, Thymus serpillum, into your garden. Hardy in zones four. Nine, creeping thyme is a drought-tolerant perennial that forms a dense mat of aromatic foliage and tiny pink to purple flowers. This plant is ideal for filling gaps between stepping stones or for use in rock gardens. Research from the University of Vermont Extension highlights that creeping thyme not only suppresses weeds effectively, but also attracts beneficial insects like bees, promoting a balanced garden ecosystem. By selecting a mix of these resilient perennials, you can create a garden that offers year-round interest and requires minimal upkeep. These plants not only enhance the visual appeal of your garden, but also support biodiversity and sustainability, making them a smart choice for both novice and experienced gardeners.
To ensure a thriving garden and maximize the potential of your spring plantings, it is crucial to follow expert tips on planting and care. Proper preparation and ongoing maintenance can significantly impact plant health and garden productivity, leading to a blooming summer display. Here are some key strategies supported by horticultural research and expert recommendations. Soil Preparation The foundation of a healthy garden starts with well-prepared soil. Before planting, it is essential to test your soil to determine its pH and nutrient content. According to the University of Massachusetts Soil and Plant Tissue Testing Laboratory, a soil test can provide valuable information about necessary amendments to create optimal growing conditions. For example, many flowering plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH, 6.0 to 7.0. If your soil is too acidic, adding lime can help raise the pH. Conversely, if the soil is too alkaline, sulfur or organic matter can help lower the pH. Incorporating organic matter. Enriching your soil with organic matter such as compost, aged manure, or leaf mold can improve soil structure, enhance water retention, and provide essential nutrients. The USDA recommends adding a two, three inch layer of organic matter and working it into the top six, eight inches of soil. This practice not only boosts soil fertility, but also promotes healthy root development and increases microbial activity, leading to more robust plant growth. Timing and spacing. Planting at the right time and maintaining proper spacing are critical for plant health and garden success. According to the National Gardening Association, most spring flowering plants should be planted after the last frost date in your area. This timing ensures that young plants are not damaged by unexpected cold snaps. Additionally, Proper spacing allows for adequate air circulation, reducing the risk of fungal diseases and pest infestations. For example, marigolds should be spaced about 8, 12 inches apart, while larger plants like sunflowers may need 18, 24 inches of space to thrive. Watering practices. Efficient watering is vital for establishing new plants and promoting vigorous growth. The University of California Cooperative Extension advises deep, infrequent watering to encourage deep root systems. This approach helps plants become more drought tolerant and reduces water waste. For instance, newly planted perennials should receive 1, 1.5 inches of water per week, either from rainfall or supplemental irrigation. Using mulch around plants can also help retain soil moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. Fertilization. Providing the right nutrients at the right time is essential for plant growth and flowering. A balanced fertilizer, such as an October 10th 10 formula, can provide a good mix of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. According to the North Carolina State University Extension, applying a slow-release granular fertilizer at the time of planting can supply nutrients over an extended period. For example, applying 1, 2 pounds of a balanced fertilizer per 100 square feet of garden bed can support healthy growth. Additionally, Incorporating organic fertilizers like fish emulsion or seaweed extract can provide micronutrients and improve soil health. Pruning and deadheading. Regular pruning and deadheading can enhance plant vigor and extend the blooming period. Removing spent flowers prevents plants from setting seed and encourages them to produce more blooms. For example, deadheading marigolds and petunias can result in continuous flowering throughout the summer. Pruning also helps maintain plant shape removes diseased or damaged parts, and improves air circulation, reducing the risk of fungal infections. As we wrap up, it's clear that thoughtful planning and care in the spring can set the stage for a vibrant and thriving summer garden. By selecting the right plants for your climate, understanding their specific needs, and following best practices for soil preparation, watering, and maintenance, you can create a garden that not only survives, but flourishes through the hottest months. Incorporating diverse plant species that attract beneficial insects using mulch to conserve moisture and implementing efficient irrigation techniques can significantly reduce water usage while maintaining plant health. Additionally, regular pruning and deadheading will ensure continuous blooming and robust growth. Embrace the seasonal secrets shared today to transform your garden into a lush, colorful oasis. We hope you enjoyed this video feel free to drop your spring planting tips down in the comments below. And until next time, happy gardening.